Hello, my name is Evan Hawkins and I'm here to talk about sound waves today. Sound waves are mechanical waves that are created from vibrations traveling through a medium. Sound waves cannot even be heard in space. Whoa! The understanding of sound was discovered by me, Leonardo da Vinci. I discovered that sound could travel through air, and that was how it got into your ears. Sound can be very painful, and also very dangerous to human ears. Some nuclear physics of the atom bomb mixed with the gyration of the emergency status. The more that particles vibrate, the louder the sound can be very painful and dangerous to the human ears. That's scary. Yes, that is right, old self. Sound can have multiple frequencies, and it also depends on how often the particles vibrate. In 1600 AD, Galileo also discovered that the pitch of sound depends on its frequency. This took scientists a lot of time to figure out. Other scientists, like Robert Boyle, also found out that sound could not travel without a medium. In 1640, Marin Mar Marce Marceni, a French mathematician, also discovered that he could measure the speed of sound in the air. Later, Sir Isaac Newton also discovered that there is a direct relationship that is correlational between the speed of sound and the density and compressibility of the medium. Now, after going through that brief little lesson of history, we can say that we've actually learned a little. And also that sound and waves were not directly discovered by one person alone. It takes a lot of scientists to fill up the boat, if you know what I mean. Sounds. Now, I also said earlier that they are mechanical, but they are not just mechanical, they are also longitudinal. Shorter the wavelength of the sound wave, the higher the frequency. And with a lower frequency, you get a longer wavelength. Well, this is really interesting because I did not know that Leonardo da Vinci figured out what sound was, as other many scientists found out too. I always thought that based on the quantum physics of the Nazgul race and the Tolkien series of Lord of the Rings that I would have been able to figure it out myself. I never knew that sound needed a medium to travel through. I just kind of thought it did its own thing independently. I am getting hurt by a high-pitched frequency sound of the nuclear reactor. Sound is used by a lot of sellouts all over the world, like this only rocker left. 